Well, good morning, Leeds United fans. It is Connor. We're back here with another video. Hope you're all doing fantastically well. Do us a favour, slap a like on the video, comment, and of course, subscribe. There's 37% of you not subscribed. In the words of Daniel Farker, are you an absolute sausage? Subscribe to the One Leeds fan channel. I don't need an appearance from Farker to tell you guys that. I can do it myself make sure you do so we're also recording generation leads across the pond today everybody really would appreciate your uh support uh joe has just interestingly uh just messaged me with uh the memories on facebook that he's had and it was the playoff second leg derby preview with joe there you go <laughs> is that a bad sign <laughs> But listen, everybody, we're here to chat a bit of transfer news. We're going to be getting into the rumour mill over the summer period, which I'm absolutely ecstatic for. You guys know we try and make a little bit of a show of it. It's entertainment. It's funny. And we've got a lot of really exciting things coming up on the channel. Now, listen, I need a little bit of help from you guys as well. If anybody, anybody, anyone knows anywhere where we can get some studio space, let me know. I'm talking podcast, yeah? I need you guys to connect me up. We need some sort of movement on that front, and I'd really appreciate if you guys do that. Thank you so much. Let me know. Facebook DMs, Insta DMs, whatever. Twitter, email would be ideal. If you've got any podcast studio space or know anybody who has, let me know. Really appreciate everybody because we are getting charged a lot of money by uh, and getting quoted a lot of money by uh, studios that we just can't simply afford. So thank you. I'd really help. Uh, that'd really help me out. So anyway. Let's get into today's transfer news. So what do I want to speak about today? I wanted to speak about Matt O'Reilly. I wanted to speak about Kenny McLean. I wanted to speak about Christensia Somerville. And these are the main three that we're going to be speaking about today. Why, Connor? Well, because there is more rumours circulating around at this moment in time that if Leeds United aren't to get promoted, Daniel Farker is going to look again to go for Kenny McLean. Now, let me give you a little bit of insider on what happened with Kenny McLean. Daniel Farker came into Leeds United and he wanted a midfielder. He wanted someone with a little bit of experience. Makes sense as well. Now he spoke about Massimo Luongo. Makes sense now he's spoken about Sam Morsi, as in the midfielders that he would ideally want at this stage of the season in terms of experience. And Daniel Farker's number one option in that midfield was Kenny McLean. Apologies yesterday, everybody, for calling him James McLean about 900 times. But I did that. Sometimes I get a little bit confused. Maybe it's the Irish connection. But yeah, Kenny McLean. I've mentioned to Chris Reeve about three or four years ago that I absolutely love Kenny McLean. I think he's a really, really decent player. Always been a good operator. Don't know why, but he's always reminded me a little bit of John McGinn in terms of his explosiveness at points in his career. And he's got a wand of a left foot. And I've just always thought he ticks over that midfield space really, really well. So Kenny McLean. Leeds went in, 850 grand, was laughed out of the building at Norwich. Obviously, he's, I don't know if he's still their captain, but I know he's been their captain multiple times this season. He's a key member of that squad. But what you always know with Norwich is they do have a sale policy, a very, very quick sale policy. So what would they do with McLean? Is his value going to go down next season? He's definitely one to keep an eye on everybody. James, uh, Kenny McLean did it again there. But yeah, 850 grand leads went in for him. Will they go with a little bit of a higher bid? Maybe in the summer to get a bit of experience through the door. It looks like Daniel Farker does want that. And he's mentioned that regardless of what happens, it'll be more difficult if Leeds are in the championship. But can Kenny McLean really step up in the Premier League at this point in his career? Probably not. So it would be a championship move. Would he want that? Would he want to come up to Leeds? He'd be closer to home. Who knows? We'd have to wait and see on that one but keep an eye on Kenny McLean if we are to remain in the championship next one everybody Matt O'Reilly now this is going to be a bit of a Premier League move because Matt O'Reilly there's constant rumors around him going uh, to the Premier League essentially obviously he's formerly of MK Dons as well but going to the Premier League from Celtic Leeds were highly interested on the last day of the season obviously Luis Sinistera moved on and Leeds apparently went to Celtic said look we'll offer you I think it was 10 to 15 million quid Celtic said no but he has a keen interest on moving to the Premier League and obviously Leeds were one of his main suitors I think it was Leeds and Crystal Palace who were looking at him Palace look a little bit more assured in that midfield area we're going to speak about them in a little bit as well but Matt O'Reilly is someone to definitely keep an eye on if Leeds get to the Premier League he wants the move down south according to multiple sources and Leeds United with the front runners for his signature what a magnificent sign and that would be and that's the difference between going up to the Premier League and the Championship Championship with all respect Kenny McLean Premier League um, would be someone like Matt O'Reilly okay 
So I wanted to speak about Willy Nyonto as well and his main suitors for this summer and what we have to look out for. I've spoken to you guys about the 49ers having a a 1-2 out policy and a 1-2 in policy as well this summer and there not being a fire sale on the cards, whatever happens. Willy Nyonto is mustering up um, interest from Crystal Palace. Uh, Apparently Palace is going to be one of the clubs that, depending on what happens with their wingers, obviously Elise and Co, um, Raksaki as well, is someone who I would look at in terms of Leeds bringing him the other way. Obviously, he's been on loan at Charlton, he's done really well. Raksaki is someone who I was speaking about at the start of the season. And if Nonto was to go one way, I think he'd be a really, really good addition the other way. Versatile winger, fantastic balance, lovely on his left, lovely on his right. Would be a lovely replacement for Willy Nonto. Would they get involved in that deal if Nonto was to come one way and Raksaki was to go the other way? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But we'd have to wait and see on that one. But that would be an exchange that I would go with. Leeds have shown interest in him as well. But Willy Nonto and Crystal Palace Look out for that one, everybody. And finally, Chrysensio Somerville. We know that Arnie Slots, one of his main additions, according to many Dutch pub- uh, publications, if he does get the Liverpool job, he's going to be going for Chrysensio Somerville. That is pretty much set in stone from the Liverpool side, from the Dutch side, from everywhere. We know he's a massive, massive fan of Chrysensio Somerville. Obviously, there's the Feyenoord link as well. So that's going to be interesting to see what happens at the end of the season. Regardless, Elite's going to get to the Premier League and Liverpool are going to go for him anyway. Can they even keep hold of Chrysler Somerville in the Premier League, Leeds United? But Arnie Slot, it looks like he's one of his main targets. But there have been another two clubs also thrown into the mix, which I think will struggle in terms of valuation. But Napoli and Juventus both also are looking at Chrysensio Somerville and want to add him to the roster. Three top clubs, three clubs that we expect to be in for one of the best talents that we've had at this club in a number of years. And what I would like to say, everybody, once again, excuse me, is that <clears throat> I've seen m- multiple things on social media once again um, about Chrysensio Somerville now not getting involved with the photo. Now not getting involved with the photo in front of the Leeds away fans just because he was stood a little bit far uh, behind the team clapping the fans. Guys, can we not demonise one of our best players, if not our best player? We've done it with Rafinha. Can we please stop doing this as a fan base? Because you all know there's a massive potential that he might be going in the summer. If Chris Somerville turns up in the playoffs, Leeds win the playoffs. Stop being such weird fans and stop trying to create this mad narrative. Because as someone said on Twitter, if it was Dan James, if it was Liam Cooper, if it was Luke Halen at the time, if it was one of those players who you've all got favourites and you know a lot of them roll on from the BLC years, which I kind of understand, but it is a little bit sentiment FC with certain players, you wouldn't be saying anything. You really wouldn't be saying anything. So can we please stop doing this? Let's stop doing this. Let's stop demonising and vilifying players for no reason whatsoever, just because you all know that there's a likelihood that he might be leaving in the summer. If he turns up, then if he turns up in the playoffs, we go up. But also, he's been our best player this season. Get a grip. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Head on over to the Patreon. Also, merchandise is available. Link in the description below. Get involved. 10% off your second order, but also we're going to be doing giveaways, more giveaways, more exclusive giveaways on the Patreon as well, but also on this channel as well. So make sure you're staying in tune with Back 4 X1 Leads. It's well worth having a look, everybody. Make sure you let me know about the studio space and also a little bit of uh, something that I put out on YouTube not long ago, everybody. I'm going to be doing something in Bilbao very soon. If you guys know anybody in the Basque region who is a Bilbao fan who will be willing to talk football, let me know in the DMs once again. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure, and I'll see you in a bit. Cheers.